You guys have asked for it, so I think it's finally time that I make this video to share some tips and show you everything you need to know to type at an elite speed. While nothing will come without practice, I can at least give you some tips and show you how I recommend practicing. For those of you who don't know me, my name's John. I'm currently the fastest typist with the Dvorak keyboard layout, rank around 23rd overall on 10 fast fingers, and average over 160 words per minute on Type Racer. Today, I'll first be covering keyboard hardware, keyboard layouts, and then what websites you should be practicing with. After this, I'll give some more specific tips to increase your speed. A lot of people ask what the best keyboard for typing is. There are people who swear by mechanical keyboards and also people who love the Apple Magic. Personally, I've always been the most comfortable with my laptop keyboard, but when I use mechanical keyboards, I prefer Cherry MX Brown. In reality, the best keyboard for you is the one that you're most comfortable with. One caveat to this is, believe it or not, you need a working keyboard. While I'm mostly joking when I say this, you do need something with higher than two key rollover. Two key rollover means that it will only accurately detect when two keys or less are pressed down simultaneously. I'd make sure that there's at least five to six key rollover, but honestly this won't be a problem with most modern keyboards. I've left a link to a website where you can check the rollover of your keyboard in the description. Another topic that I'd like to briefly address is what keyboard layout you should use. For those of you who don't know, there have been several other keyboard layouts or arrangements of the keys that have been designed to be better than the standard QWERTY layout. After all, QWERTY was designed to slow you down, right? This is actually a myth. QWERTY was designed so that you wouldn't be pressing keys right next to each other back to back to prevent typewriters from jamming. Some people would even argue that this has led to QWERTY being a superior layout for typing fast, but that's not the point of this video and I don't necessarily believe that's true. However, out of the roughly 34 people who have broken 200 words per minute on 10 fast fingers, only 3 of us use a layout other than QWERTY. I use Dvorak, and Sophie and Viper use Colmac. It's also worth noting that Jash has a 200 with Colmac, but he primarily uses QWERTY. So basically, it's fine to use a different keyboard layout if it sounds fun, but don't switch for a speed benefit. Now, I'd like to talk about what website you should be practicing with. The four main websites that people use are NitroType, TypeRacer, 10 Fast Fingers, and MonkeyType. I've never really used MonkeyType, but I know I'd get comments from the MonkeyType players telling me how it's the greatest typing game ever created if I didn't at least mention it. I think that the majority of your practice time should be spent on NitroType or TypeRacer because these websites have a format that is sentence or paragraph based and more accurate to real typing, rather than the random word formats on 10 fast fingers or monkey type. Quote mode on monkey type is fine, but it's a little too bland for me. However, the developer is rapidly updating the site, so it's worth keeping an eye on. Not many people have reached high speeds just from practicing on nitro type, but that's more because it rewards playing a lot rather than typing fast. If you're intrinsically motivated to improve your speed, it's a great website to practice with. TypeRacer is probably the best website to practice on because it forces you to correct mistakes and thus discourages you from making them in the first place, but I just enjoy the interface of NitroType more. After all, the more you practice, the more you'll improve, so you should be using a website you enjoy. Next, I'm going to give some tips for beginner typists, or people who are aiming to reach an average speed of 80 words per minute. I'll be showing clips of me typing on 10fastfingers.com, but keep in mind that I don't recommend practicing with this website too much, and it is simply to give you an idea of the pace you'll need to type in order to reach this speed. If you don't know how to type, I'd start by going through a learn to type program such as typing.com, and then come back to this video. This is the best time to form good habits, or correct bad ones. While there are several typists who have reached high speeds using only several fingers, it's best to at least use 6 or 7 in my opinion. I recommend starting with the standard home row technique, where you rest your fingers on ASDF and JKL semicolon. Eventually, you'll want to personalize and optimize your typing style, but home row is a good starting point. Make sure you're not looking at the keyboard when you're typing. You should also be primarily focusing on accuracy rather than speed at this point. Make sure your average accuracy is above 96%, as it's hard to improve your accuracy if you start off with bad habits. Even if you need to slow down to raise your accuracy, it's worth it in the long run. One thing that I wish I knew about when I typed at this speed was control backspace. This is the shortcut to delete an entire word rather than just one character. Most of you probably already know about this, but I thought I'd mention it just in case. You should most likely reach a speed of 80 words per minute with consistent practice, but keep in mind that progress is not linear, so don't be frustrated if you get stuck. 
Next, I'd like to cover progress up to 120 words per minute. This speed does not come naturally to most people, so you will need to put in a lot of practice time in order to improve. One of the most important changes you need to make is that you need to be typing word by word rather than letter by letter. For example, if you're typing the word mountain, don't press M-O-U-N-T-A-I-N. Think of it more like a piano chord. You should be able to drop your hands on the keyboard and mountain should appear. Don't worry if this doesn't come naturally at first, and you can start smaller. For example, you could break mountain into mound and ten. I think that this is a great practice technique. Take a text and just type it word by word, or syllable by syllable, with a brief pause between each chunk. You can make the pause smaller and smaller until you're just typing at that top rate. It's important to have separate time to focus on accuracy and just raw speed. Another thing to think about is that you do not need to write every word at the same pace. If there is a word that has a lot of uncommon letters, I'll slow down if necessary to avoid making a mistake. The opposite is true too. Finally, you should start thinking about reading ahead when you're trying to reach 120 words per minute on average. I think that this is one of the most important but least talked about skills. You never want your typing to catch up to the word you're reading because that will lead to you pausing. At this speed, reading one word ahead is enough, but if you can do more, that's great. I feel like I need to repeat what I said at the end of the last section. Progress is not linear, so don't feel bad if you go through weeks or even months where you haven't made any tangible progress. If you've hit 120 words per minute, congratulations, as not many people can do that. However, there's still a lot of room for improvement. Like I said last time, typing word by word rather than letter by letter is one of the most important things. You can start practicing the technique I suggested last time by expanding the chunky type from one word to two words to as many as you can hold at that top speed. Reading ahead also becomes more important while also getting more difficult as you type faster. You should be reading two to four words ahead of what you're typing, as if your typing catches up to the word you're reading, you'll pause. This is time you can't afford to lose when you want to be hitting over 10 keys per second. The last secret to typing fast that I'll mention is optimizing your typing style. The most important part of this is eliminating consecutive finger usage. You don't want to use the same finger for two letters in a row. This is much more of a problem on QWERTY than Dvorak, so I don't have a ton of advice in this department, but I can give you an example. Take the letter pair DE or ED. If you're using a standard technique, both of these letters would be typed with your middle finger. However, I use my index for D and ring finger for E to get around this. If you look at the top typists in the world, no two of them share a typing style. You need to develop your own preferences. Eventually, you should not even need to think about these optimizations and they should be automatic. While I'm sorry that I can't give you any magic trick to double your typing speed, that's because there is none. If you keep practicing, you'll improve, but with the ideas I've outlined in this video, hopefully your improvement will accelerate. While I tell you the most important idea that I discussed in this video is that progress is not linear, you didn't watch this for motivation, you wanted advice. So, the most important thing I hope you take away from this is to practice with intention. Have separate practice sessions to focus on accuracy, speed, and even smaller details. Mindless practice will only get you so far. I hope that this video helped you out, and if it did, be sure to drop a like and subscribe, as I am posting videos about typing most days. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you very much for watching.